Hi, Viola. This is Salo, and this is your star seed activation galactic light language that I see around people. Light language speaks to the soul without words. It's a feeling, it's an emotion. It bypasses the left side of our brain of facts and information in the written word to the right side of our brain which are feelings, emotions, our psychic and intuitive side, our creative, artful side. Because the symbol means more than one word. It can mean many things. So this interpretation today is only one of maybe a million interpretations in the universe for you. And these are the symbols that I see, which is kind of cool. I have your birthday as March 2nd, 1945, and you are a six in numerology, which means you're here for divine love. You're learning in this lifetime that you are here to love yourself and to love others, to nurture yourself and to nurture others in the universe, and that you are not responsible for other people's feelings and emotions. They are only responsible for their own feelings and emotion. You're here to validate your own feelings that we talked about before years ago and having empathy and your biggest gift is nurturing yourself and learning to nurture others. It's important that you have that sense of, you know, if you have a feeling in a relationship to express that, to know that no one's going to run away from you and that you're not responsible for their anger. It's usually something else, and when you do that, it becomes a win-win situation. As a six in numerology, you're here to, you know, understand family, community, children, and animals. You have great gifts in those areas. And staying centered in this you know, universe with everything going on of your own emotions and feelings and being centered with that is so important. Now this is your guides and angels coming in here to aid and assist you with these symbols here today. These are the two starships coming through the vortex of energy beaming down these symbols. And some of these symbols here, like here, this is like, it looks like an H, but it is like a roadway of different paths that you go through in this lifetime. And from this, you have a very kind of a flowy feel to it. And I feel like some of these symbols come from the Pleiades, the Seven Sisters. My guys say you're an early indigo, an early star seed in the universe. You are here to hold the grids for planet Earth to have this wonderful new millennial energy that's coming in right now and my guide said that from 2017 to 2025 was a major challenging years of the earth changes and changes in government and our money and our food systems and business and the school system and the police department and also our equity in life of what is fair and unjust We are going through the same alignments that we had in 1776 with the Constitution and that, you know, being written the Declaration of Independence. And that's what we're seeing right now. And you are one of the early way showers coming in to help that. You have lots of guides from the Pleiades that generate this energy. They're here. And this is the star symbol here for the Aboriginal symbol of star seeds, which is star beans. And you've incarnated many times here on planet Earth, but you've also had many incarnations on other planets as a very hard worker, um, a diplomat, um, getting people together in other forms, and you had a way of taking order, bringing order to chaos on other planets, and that's part of one of your gifts here. Self-expressing yourself, bringing order to chaos in a way, but making sure you understand the situation fully before you volunteer in the universe. Now, these remind me of some Japanese symbols my guides are saying, embracing. I feel like there was a a geisha uh, past lifetime where you did everything by the book. Um, You didn't express your feelings. Uh, You did everything uh, very patiently and deliberately and worked really hard, but you never really got to express your feelings in that 
lifetime. But from that, you learned to be uh, centered and Zen and really love nature and animals from that past lifetime. Uh, these here are different grids that you're working here on planet Earth, my guides are saying, and working in community, you have a great gift for that. You're now as a number six in numerology to be the divine mother figure where people look up to you for wisdom and advice from all the experience you've had from the previous years you had on planet Earth. How cool is that? I just love it. And this is a dimensional doorway that we're going through right now and also in the future of going in from 3D, uh, third density, to fourth density, to fifth density, and later on in the next few years having contact with other uh, civilizations out in the stars. And for you, you're like one of the first contacts. You'll receive them in your dreams from the Pleiades. Um, some from Cirrus, from the whales and dolphins, and when you go by the beach, you get downloads from the whales and dolphins too, my guides are saying, for information. As part of the ground crew Earth here on planet Terra, um, to know what to do subconsciously um, to help this planet grow, and we wouldn't be this far if it wasn't for you, Viola, so thank you for your dedication and your work here on the ground crew. Now this is the summation of all your lifetimes coming together in this one moment over the next few years happening and bringing it into your totality, um, feeling your feelings and emotions, integrating them in the blue sea of your feelings and emotions, and bringing it down here to have contact with your guides and angels and activating that into action which is happening now, my guides are saying, and also in the future. You have many action states um, to go through and do, and you don't have to definitely know exactly what it is, but you are doing your divine mission, my guides are saying, from your guides and angels. This isn't your first rodeo, my guides are saying. It isn't your first time here on planet Earth, and you came at this wonderful preface, preface of precipice of this doorway that you're opening up for future generations of kind of like Star Trek, you know, and it symbols like you hold the key right here, my guides are saying, you hold the key and the musical notes for activating what needs to be done here as ancient scriptures, my guides are saying, and even through some of your writings are important in this lifetime or your creativity of you know, cooking or uh, making something special for someone. There's little ancient codes that you put into the things that you create and the things that you say here on planet Earth. I just love it. Now, the personal year you're in this year for 2022, which is a six year, you are a six in numerology, and this is the year of love and being connected to community, but your personal year is the way we get it is we add up your birth month which is a three and your birth date which is a two three and two is five and we add it to the world number six five and six is eleven and one plus one is two so you're in a year of connection psychic connection to your guides and angels in a partnership so it's no wonder you're getting a star seed activation light reading how cool is that and also the two also makes you really sensitive sometimes you might be crying at a the drop of a hat or be really oversensitive but that happens in a two-year because you're getting major downloads from the universe right now two years also means cooperation and balance and others and partnership so if you're thinking about dating someone <laughs> or if you're with something with someone um, you can have more love in your life and isn't that cool it's also about taking a step-by-step -step occurrence and you can possibly learn something new start your own business or something this year and work really hard at it and really see the wonderment and the rewards from all your hard work. A two year also means to have patience. Um, next year will be a three personal year. You'll be uh, having more of connection on the internet, uh, connection with others, finding more of your spiritual family, having the joy of living. Your psychic abilities will continue to open next year in a three year, so I just wanted to let you know. Just know that you have done everything. And don't worry about thinking you didn't get it all done. 
we never do get it all done in one lifetime, and you know that. I'm preaching to the choir. It's just added on to the next lifetime, the next lifetime. It's all good, and it's all divine, and you are doing your spiritual starseed mission, awakening yourself and awakening others just by your mere presence. So how cool is that? These are little dots and orbs of information that come through to help you move through these dimensional shifts that we're going through and also weather changes. My guides are saying to these doorways here also for you. So I hope you've liked this star seed activation um, for you. If you have any questions, Viola, let me know. Know that you are loved. Know that you are blessed. Thank you for all your service. And we're sending angels your way, my friend. 